Hey guys, what's up? It's Autry here for Ballin' Video Games. Today we're going to be checking out the HD PVR. Just got it in the mail. Soon Brian will have one and we'll be going all HD. All of our videos will be uploaded in 720 and some of them even in 1080. So watch the rest of this video. We're going to see how to hook it up, how it works, how the program functions, everything like that. And remember, Ballin' Video Games, rate, comment, subscribe. So first we're just going to open this outside box that it comes in perfect fit I guess because the outside box is exactly as big as the box inside of it and there it is we'll get a closer look as I um, take it out of the box okay now we got a closer look and so we're just gonna slide this inner box out and another brown box and there's your packaging like I said it's got system requirements what included um, software and um, technical specifications on the back it's just got what all the ports mean and we'll go over that later in the vid more in depth software disk it's gonna have quick installation guide and a dear customer note here's your, here's your just USB cable and if you were wondering it actually uses the same cable that most printers now use from computer to from computer to printer so you're gonna have this in that's like a square with rounded off top edges and then a USB 2.0 on the other side and it's gonna come with one of the most important components um, the way the HD PBR actually works is it splits it into a USB output which you're gonna have this outputting to your computer and then this is gonna output to your TV so whatever you're recording from is going to input to here and put it out to these two different areas. So it's nice that it comes with a nice HD cable. And I'll probably upgrade to a monster cable unless that shows superior quality or quality enough for me to play in HD. Uh, here's your remote. It's going to come with batteries, which I'll put those in at my own time. You don't need to know how to put batteries in. And there's a quick look. We'll probably talk more about that later in the video. So then it's going to come with your power out. It's not like the Dazzle where you, where you can just get the enough power from the USB. Uh, pretty powerful little tool and we're going to use it to our advantage. So here's the actual HD PVR. And it says use only with the power supply provided. On the front we're going to have our our regular ends right here all the way to S video and you're gonna have a little receiver there and then power button I think it has a blue light that goes around the top of it or something like that it's gonna have your blaster your RF blaster little input for your remote right here and then you're gonna have your power in here and your USB in here and then as I said it's a splitter pretty much so what you're gonna do is plug in your 360 PS3 or whatever you're, you're streaming from in here and then put out from here to your TV so yeah now on to installing it and all that fun stuff and how it works all the software included and how that'll help you record and stuff so the HD PVR. Okay, so pretty much installing the software is pretty easy. All you need to do is it'll auto run the disk, and if it doesn't, you can go to my computer and run the disk. First, you want to do is install the drivers by clicking the top thing. After you select your language, it'll take you to that little thing. And here's installing the drivers, and here's installing the software. Just click on it, the same thing you did with the drivers, except it's going to come up with a couple different windows. You just have to click next and finish, and I agree, and stuff like that. And so it's going to go into installing the software, and yeah it's gonna come up as a setup another window you just check the ones you want to install the programs I would install everything that's already checked and if you really want to install the IR blaster program then you can do that and just click that one and it'll install it also then you click on next and it'll go ahead and start the process for you right there and now we wait 
and once you get to the actual ARC software program where you're going to be capturing from and maybe editing from it'll come up with here's the WinTV IR Blaster program just click through this this will be a separate window and then the next window we're going to bring up is the window that actually installs the ARC software program and it's ARC Windows I think or something like that or ARC soft sorry and you just agree next next it should already have presets if you really want to change them then you should be smart enough to do that and all the defaults are pretty easy to go through and there we go it'll finish up and as you can see you just click finish and it's pretty much finished right here but yeah now on to how to set up the actual HD PVR okay so now we're just gonna so now we're just gonna look at the setup and um, things not to do first we're gonna look at the first thing not to do if you have your settings which I did so I was freaking out for about two hours straight and then realized I had this set this way you wanna go to system settings and just quick check Go to console settings and display the first ones on each of the menus. Then go to HD TV settings and make sure it's on 720p because mine was on 1080 because a really nice Samsung TV and it can do 1080. So I keep it there because it looks a lot, I mean a lot, not a lot nicer but I don't really notice a difference much but it's just nice to know it's got that couple hundred P in there <laughs> um, so now we're just gonna look at the setup here's your HD PVR first thing is going to be your power running to my power strip back there it's gonna here's gonna be your USB you can use any high-speed USB I have a really nice Belkin six foot that I'm gonna use so I can keep my laptop over where I sit and then at the bottom uh, the bottom HD inputs you're gonna keep your all of your inputs you would normally run to your TV and then take the tops with the dual sided HD cable HD component cable you're gonna run from here to the back of your TV which I mean I could show you all that but it's pretty simple and so that's about it the power buttons up front you can record from the front just in standard definition and you want your, you want your video inputs to be Y well you want to to be Y PBR or PR PB and then audio input RCA back if you want to record from the front in composite definition you just want to switch the video input to composite audio input to R you can see you can see enable preview on recording you're going to want that if you want to watch it on your 360 or on your computer and just know it's there but it's sort of gonna slow your computer down so unless you have a really nice computer I would not preview and then hardware acceleration keep that on and as you can see they updated so you can save in mp4s also mpeg4s and you can just save wherever you want to and click capture right there and you can click stop whenever you want and as you can see the screens up there don't know why I have crackdown in uh, I think me and Brian were just wasting some time while video but yeah